Rescue your heart, eliminate plaque in your arteries. Take vitamin D3 with K2, ask your doctor about dosing and any interactions or side effects. According to the National Institutes for Health and Care Excellence, vitamins K2 and D3 work in unison to provide the proper function of calcium in the body. K2 directs calcium to the correct locations in the bones, and away from the arteries. K2 is basically a manager of calcium which plays critical roles for bone density, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes through the management of insulin resistance. Simplified by the Journal of American College of Cardiology, K2 activates a protein called MGP through a process called gamma carboxylation. MGP K2 activates a protein, MGP, which inhibits vascular calcification and promotes decalcification. When taken in conjunction with D3, calcium is directly sent to the proper locations in your body. If MGP is not carboxylated, it can't pull calcium out of the arteries. Anticoagulants, such as warfarin, will block MGP and people on the medication, or any vitamin K inhibitor, have been observed to have more calcification in their arteries. Vitamin K1 does not have the same vital properties as vitamin K2, although it has other helpful qualities. The primary differences between K1 and K2 are the food sources they are found in and the different benefits of each type. Vitamin K1 is found in leafy greens, vegetables and some plant oils, which helps with blood clotting. Vitamin K2 is found in dairy, fermented foods, and animal products. Note that dairy and meat have low levels compared to fermented foods such as natokinase or natto. K2 helps with preventing cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, severe arthritis, and plays a significant role in the reduction of type 2 diabetes. The Japanese eat fermented soybeans, called natokinase, which are high in vitamin K2 and have low rates of heart disease. Vitamin D is critical for immune system function. Vitamin D is made up of both vitamin D2 and D3. The most potent form of vitamin D is found in D3, although both are critical to have in your blood. People with darker skin do not synthesize vitamin D3 as easily as lighter skinned people. Lighter skinned people tend to wear sunscreen, blocking D3 absorption. The best way to ensure you have enough is to take a supplement. Foods high in vitamin D3 are meats, dairy products or by direct sunlight through the skin. Why take vitamin D3 with vitamin K2? K2 is a manager of calcium and directs vitamin D3 to the correct locations in the body. The key is understanding your personal intake of sunlight, and food sources of vitamin D3 which can be difficult without frequent testing. Vitamin D3 automatically excretes itself when there are sufficient levels in the blood. Vitamin K2 is very minimal in food sources, so toxicity is rare. Taking a supplement may raise the levels above normal situations of dietary intake. 5000 IUs a day of D3 is on the high end of recommended dosage with around 120 micrograms of vitamin K2. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit that bell for new content notifications. Check out our playlists on quercetin and zinc benefits.